Hello everybody! If you're new to this series, welcome. If you're here after already watching, welcome back. In part 5 of the series and final part of the castle, we make our way through the mines and a huge bug nest. We also fight several mini bosses. For those that have watched previous parts of this series, I'd like to point out that I lost the footage of this area, and instead I'm using old footage from previous videos of mine. Without further ado, let's dive into... Resident Evil 4! As you walk down the hallway through the door, take out the two Ganados and pick up the Velvet Blue. When you reach the open room of the mine, use your sniper to take out the enemies from a safe place. When you attempt to get the dynamite, the lever for the power be switched off. Run up the slope to not only flip the switch, but to get the pile of gold that lays behind it. Dr. Salvador will spawn after this. I personally choose to knock him over and knife them. This saves on ammo, and the knife does considerable damage to him. Using the dynamite, blow up the boulder to access the door past it. In the room, two gigantes will spawn from the gate across the room. You could open the hatch on the floor to drop one of the many bosses into the lava, the other you have to take out on your, on your own. However, in this video I really needed pesetas so I killed both of them, one with the RPG. In the next section, there will be a ton of Plagas infected insects. The Navista doors will spawn in a lot. If you shoot them while they are flying in the air, they will die instantly, even from a default and not upgraded weapon. Complete the simple button puzzle and kill as many Navista doors as you can. Remember, if they're flying, to shoot at them over land or else the loot they drop will fall into the abyss. After you get through the gate and the weird stomper things, there will be a stone elevator that will take you to the surface. Grab the treasure seeing there and ride up. If you didn't combine all the treasure pieces into the crown, now would be the time to do so. This will complete the unfinished crown and then you could sell it to the merchant for 48,000 pesetas. After selling the crown, run down the path. In the distance you will see a few ganados mindlessly standing around a campfire. Use your sniper to take them out from a distance, and then loot the surrounding wreckage. After rotating the lever and climbing down the ladder, you will find yourself in an old tomb looking location. Read random gibberish, break the box in the hall, for a velvet blue, and then stop in the next room. Here there will be two chainsaw enemies in the building to your left. As for the enemies outside, you can take them out with your sniper. Watch out for bear traps and safely make your way to the stairs that lead downward. In this hidden spot, there will be a coffin. What's inside, you may ask? Well, besides bones, you will have a staff that sells for a hefty amount of money. Don't worry, you'll be able to sell it the second you find the merchant again. Something cool about the Chainsaw Ganado is that they can't climb over the ledge to get outside. So unless they go through the door, you could actually get a free shot on the one upstairs. You could either climb the ladder or rush in through the door. It doesn't really matter. The great thing about this area is that none of the enemies are carrying the key. It's actually sitting on a stone table. This means that you get 10,000 pitas each from both of the chainsaw kananas.
After unlocking the door and heading through the next hallway, you will find yourself trapped in another spike room. The difference here is that there are actual enemies that will try to stop you from shooting the lights. Regardless of the efforts of the bugs, this room is still incredibly easy. Shoot the lights, and before leaving, open the coffin for a few thousand pesetas. Walk down the stairs and break the barrels. One should contain a velvet blue. Continue through the red doorway and hop into the minecart using your pistol to shoot the lever. Now, I don't do it in this old footage, but what you are going to want to do is to attempt to get as many enemies as you can into the minecarts instead of falling onto the tracks. This allows you to pick up the loot they spawn. There will be two more chainsaw wielding enemies to take care of. On the bright side, they both give 10 grand in pesetas. After going on a roller coaster and lifting yourself with abnormal upper body strength, you'll have the emblem you need to open the lion door. There isn't much to say about the statue segment. Just break all the pots and kill all the enemies that you can. After outrunning Salazar's ego and avoiding certain death from falling, you'll reach the final tower that Salazar resides in. So nice you could join us, Mr. Scott Kennedy. You again. The sacred rite that's about to begin at this tower shall endow the girl with magnificent power. She will join us, become one of us. This is no ritual. It's terrorism. Isn't that a popular word these days? Not to worry. We've prepared a special ritual for you. <laughs> Make a hole in his hand and then start making your way up the tower. Something to note before you begin hiking up the stairs is the hidden treasure chest behind the boxes. Inside it is a yellow herb. There isn't much to say about the way up. Kill all the enemies you can and maybe grind for some loot on the elevator by killing the red cloaked cultist instead of knocking them off. Once you reach the merchant, you could use this opportunity to sell all of the loot you obtain along the way and any ammo that you won't be using for your run. If you don't already have an RPG with you, I would personally buy another one as sometimes Salazar's boss fight can be a bullet sponge. After beating the man baby, loot the area as there's so much you can loot. Pick up the main that sellers are dropped which is valued at 50,000 pesetas and then head through the door. Climb down the wall and go down the elevator. The merchant is already there waiting for you, eager to hear how the battle went. In this footage, I fully upgraded my black tail, but you shouldn't have to worry about upgrading anything really. If there's another opportunity to upgrade the sniper capacity, I would do that. After hopping onto the boat with Leon's love interest, Ada will ditch you and leave you to fend for yourself. This is where the island segment begins, but this is where the video ends. I'd like to thank you if you made it this far into the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment as that helps me make more content for my channel and YouTube makes it easier for others to find me. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next one. Peace.